Okay, the first passage. Let's say she refuses to give you a divorce, let's say. You'd be afraid to kill her because you'd get caught. And what would trip you up? Motive. Now here's the plan, it's so simple too. A couple of fellows meet accidentally, like you and me. No connection between them at all, never saw each other before. Each of them has somebody he'd like to get rid of, but he can't murder the person he wants to get rid of, he'll get caught. So they swap murders. Each fellow does the other fellow's murder. Then there's nothing to connect them. The one who had the motive isn't there. Each fellow murders a total stranger. Like you do my murder and I do yours. That is the end of the first passage. <laughs> passage number two. You guys ready? Okay. Flashes of actual flame sprang. It was as if each man were suddenly and momentarily turned to fire. I saw the flashes of trees and hedges and wooden buildings suddenly set alight. Then it was as if an invisible yet intensely heated finger were drawn through the heather between me and the Martians, and all along a curving line the dark ground smoked and crackled. The Martians and their appliances were altogether invisible, save for that thin mast upon which their restless mirror wobbled. It came to me that I was upon this dark common, helpless, unprotected, and alone. With an effort, I turned and began a stumbling run through the heather. I remember I felt an extraordinary persuasion that I was being played with, that presently, when I was upon the very verge of safety, this mysterious death would leap after me and strike me down. All right, passage number three. The wedding guest sat on a stone. He cannot choose but hear. And thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered, the harbor cleared. Merrily did we drop below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. At length did cross an albatross. Through the fog it came. As if it had been a Christian soul, we hailed it in God's name. In mist or cloud, on mast or shroud, it perched for vespers nine, whiles all the night through fog smoke white glimmered the white moonshine. God save thee, ancient mariner, from the fiends that plague thee thus. Why lookst thou so? With my crossbow I shot the albatross. And that is passage number three. All right, thank you. Good luck.